Thank you for joining this lesson. We continue with the KCC 2023 Mathematics Paper 2. Let us look at the last question on vectors. In the following figure, OABC is a trapezium. OA is parallel to CB and OA equals to 3 vector CB. M is the midpoint of AB. So M is the midpoint of AB. The diagram is there, you can see it. Given that vector OA equals to 3A, as indicated, and that vector OC equals to C, express in terms of A and C, Roman 1, vector AC. So for us to express vector AC, then we need to follow the root AO, then OC. AO plus OC. Therefore, we need AO because vector OA is vector 3A, then it means AO is the reverse, which is negative 3A, then A plus vector C, which is our OC plus vector C. Now we can uh, rearrange the vectors and have this as vector C plus or minus now, 3 vector A. We have a part two, which is dealing with vector AB. So vector AB can be achieved through several routes. We can follow AO, OC, then CB, or simply OC, which has already been obtained, plus CB. So OC plus CB. AC, sorry. AC plus CB. AC has already been obtained as C minus 3A, then plus a vector CB. In which case we will say vector OA equals to 3CB. So if this one is three times CB, then it means CB is vector A. So now we will add vector A at this point. And this will take us to C minus 2A vector. So that is the vector AB. We can also talk about OM, vector OM. So vector OM will be given by, we can follow the root, uh, because we have AB already, so we can follow the root OA, then AM. This is equal to OA plus AM. Vector OA equals to 3A plus vector AM equals to half vector AB, which is already up there. So C minus 2A. Yes, like that. So vector AM, because M is the midpoint, which means AM is a half of AB. Therefore, we can talk of a 3a plus half vector c minus a, when we multiply half by 2a, we get a negative a. Therefore, now we can group and have a 2a plus half vector c. Yes, then now we can go to the last part, which says line AC and OM, AC and OM, they intersect at X, just as shown, uh, they intersect at X such that OX equals to HOM and AX equals to K. AC, where H and K are scalars. Determine the values of H and K. So we're going to determine these scalars. 
uh, we can express vector OX in two ways. So vector OX will be the, uh, expressed in two ways. So OX equals to the first expression. We can use the one provided here. H vector OM, which is already here. So 2A plus half vector C. So we can say 2H vector A plus half H vector C. This is the first expression for vector OX. We can also express vector OX in another root, but now we make sure that we accommodate AX. So OX will be given as OA plus AX. OA plus AX. Therefore, vector OA, which is 3A, plus AX, which has been given here as K, vector AC, and AC is 3 minus A, C minus 3A. C minus 3A. Yes. So we can say 3A plus KC minus 3KA. Then now we can group the parts which are having a vector A together. So that we have 3A minus 3KA plus KC. Then uh, we factor out vector A so that we have 3 minus 3K. Vector A has been uh, factorized plus KC, K vector C. So this is the second expression, the second expression of uh, vector OX. So now with the two expressions, we can now equate the coefficients of each vector. If it is vector A, from the first expression, the coefficient of vector A is 2H. So we equate 2H with the coefficient of vector A in the second expression. That is 3 minus 3K. That is one equation. The second equation, you get it after equating the coefficients of vector C. So for vector C in the first expression, we have half H, which should be equated to the coefficient of vector C in the second, which is K. Therefore, with this as the first equation, and this one as the second, now we can talk about solving them simultaneously. And we can see very well that uh, if we make H the subject, say H equals to 2K from equation 2, so that we substitute in equation 1. Wherever we have H, we substitute with 2K. Therefore, 2 instead of H, we have 2K. This is equal to 3 minus 3K. So 4K equals to 3 minus 3K. And when 3K gets to the other side, we will have a 7K because it will be added equals to 3. And the value of K will be given as 3 out of 7. So that we may agree together that the value of H will be 2 multiplied by K. So this is going to be 6 out of 7.